Let's see. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Welcome along. Thank you, um, thank you for coming. Yeah. By all means, no, no, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is your sir. This is your, your Thanks to everyone for coming. It's obviously a rather strange time. So we thank everyone for venturing out of uh, out of their houses. And this is with me is Len Sultana. Oh, yes, indeed. Well, I was going to uh, do it. You can do introductions. I am going to do introductions, indeed, because uh, we have ourselves uh, a couple of things. Yeah, uh, that's me, by the way. Uh, hi there. Uh, welcome along to uh, the Trick Wire Wars 2021. Um, my name is Len Sultana. I run a, a website called The Convention Collective and also a podcast called An, An Englishman in San Diego, talking about podcasts, uh, d- d- all sorts of uh, comic conventions, uh, comics, pop culture, and stuff and nonsense uh, that we get to enjoy at such events. And then my co host and also the uh, the uh, architect of this uh, shindig, John Meadows. Yes, yeah, so I'm editor in chief of Tripwire, which is a website, an occasional magazine, and we're coming back uh, with a new comic convention in Bristol as of next September. So Leonard is is my uh, co-host on this uh, this wild ride. You wild ride indeed, indeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> So yes, Tripwire Awards 2021 is the third one. It is. Third the first one, one was at Portsmouth. Indeed, in we've got a couple of uh, nineteen uh, images of uh, that particular uh, uh, myself. Indeed. And then we did it uh, remotely last year, as most people did in 2020. <laughs> well, yes. But it was still it was still an interesting show. But unfortunately, we did it from the comfort of our own home. I'm just got, I'm wondering how much we're going to address the last 18 months. Well, we uh, have to mention it. Do we have bit. to mention it? Yeah. Some well, point. it's been interesting. I mean, you know, <laughs> Joel Meadows, the uh, the master of understatement. Uh, interesting. Well, it's been. How's it been for yourself, Joel? It's been. Intermittently terrifying, <laughs> but uh, it's not been it's not been too bad. And we got a print magazine out for the first time in ten years. Um, it's not too bad. Um, and we've, we're planning as if another comic show. So we've been building up our audience with lots of new content on the website. So interestingly, comics has had an amazing eighteen months. It really has. Incredibly. I mean, I think the one thing that we can take from uh, the whole thing is when certainly when we uh, started approaching uh, uh, lockdown and uh, all the, uh, the turmoil that came, we were wondering what on earth we were going to see at the other side of it and how the comics, whether comics were going to survive. Comics were going to survive, and if anything, they've they've they flourished, adapted, and thrived, and. Uh, Yes, and uh, I think when, I think when we saw the Statue of Liberty with that man and the donkey, I think we thought that, you know there might have been trouble, but you know we got through that. Thanks for that reference. That's, that's great. Um, hopefully that um, you haven't been affected too, too bad, uh, yeah. uh, traumatically by uh, the last eighteen months, and hopefully this evening we'll celebrate coming what, back. Uh, and absolutely, what's to come? It's been a long gestation for twenty twenty one trip Wales, yes, yes, uh, considering that um, there's going to. The one thing I, when we were putting the actual uh, presentation together, uh, the, co- the comics uh, that have come out in the uh, the intervening, intervening time, month yes. could have easily, have, oh, uh, easily we could have replaced uh, all of our nominations, most of them, most a of lot them. of them. All. Thank you very much indeed for putting that out there. Well, not all of them. But there so. we go. Um, but um, we are here to celebrate uh, yes, the last uh, uh, the, the the last twelve months certainly of comics and. Uh, do what we can to uh, honour the uh, the talents that have uh, been there. So exactly, um, we are going to start. Uh, no, we've got a, a couple of things first because uh, we've got ourselves uh, many thanks. Of course, indeed, the Cartoon Museum, exactly. ladies Wonderful. and gentlemen, uh, for hosting us this evening. Fantastic venue. Um, if you've not been around uh, the the actual Cartoon Museum yet, uh, we're going to give you the opportunity we to do are. so before uh, we all disappear off into the London night. Uh, there's some impressive and quite frankly gobsmacking. Oh, the collection is phenomenal. It's yeah. incredible. It is incredible. Uh, so do get the chance to uh, check out uh, some of the. But we'll uh, be careful of the wine. Make sure the you know, wine does stay. There's something for that. Uh, although I am uh, noticing uh, a couple of names, uh, including Mr. Hunt Emerson up there, yes, up there yes, who is yes. at the moment um, yes. in uh, not dire straits. We, but wish, him well. we wish him well. We wish him well. We wish him a speedy a, recovery. A speedy recovery. Uh, it's possible was, currently, but we said we wish him a speedy recovery. Absolutely, I want to uh, certainly bring that up. Okay. Also, I want to uh, introduce to our oh, hang on, what, judges. Uh, our judges, because we have ourselves we have five, uh, judges. five, including yourself. Uh, we have Ollie McNamee, who is the um, senior editor, editor, senior editor, editor of, of uh, the, the ComicCon.com. Comic Com. Um, he unfortunately couldn't Can't be, be here no, uh, because uh, can he be in the same room with you? Well, mm. we, we shall talk about that later. Oh, right. Okay. So um, if uh, we wanted to have uh, some form of WWE uh, for the comics industry, well, we could have had celebrity that. Smackdown, really. 
yeah, that, that could more, be that could work better. Hopefully, we can build some bridges uh, along the lines well, of the that. Or the claymation thing that Adam and Joe used to do. Maybe something that's like that. probably the closest so, you're going to get. Yeah, to. I think that's probably, that's probably closest, quite well. Yeah. But uh, Ollie McNamee um, was one of our judges, as yes. was uh, Louise Saul, who's a new addition for this she year. Is. Uh, Louise is a uh, writer. She's a journalist and yes, also a cosplayer. Indeed. Uh, she's going to be hosting at uh, MCM uh, Comic Con uh, in sadly, London. Sadly, she's based in the north, so she's she going to is. make it. Uh, she's uh, she's going to be more too than far welcome, from. but sadly, the schedule yeah. didn't quite work. Yeah. So she's going to be hosting on the creator on stage the Friday, yes. on the Friday. So if you want to, if you are heading to MCM, uh, do go and uh, check out Louise because uh, uh, she's going to be hosting a writers panel. Tim Kundal uh, from uh, Mass Movement. Indeed. Now you're going to have to talk more about him because well, Mass Movement is a website that covers music, comics, books. Uh, he's based in South Wales. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it tonight, but he's a great guy. He's got a really good website. Um, he's a mutual friend with Jasper Bark, who presented the first year of the awards. You know, he was one of our judges. We wanted to mix things up a bit, and unfortunately, he couldn't make it. But he's a great guy. Check out his website. Fair enough. Oh boy, uh, we have ourselves Joseph the Illich, another new entry yes. uh, to our he's judging the editor of Heavy Metal currently. He's got a CV that includes places like Valiant, DC. Um, God, is the list goes on. Yeah. He's had an hopefully, career. hopefully he does come back over to the UK. I if you so. do get the chance uh, to spend an evening uh, down he's here, a, couple of, man. a couple of ciders with the yes. man, uh, he he will quite happily talk your ear off, and he is one of the best. He's a great guy, uh, and he's a talented best, editor. The best person I've spent an evening with. Fantastic. Uh, me, then we'll so, move on. Uh, yeah, but, uh, yeah, well, you know, anyway, you know, so yeah, enough about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah so move yeah, and so moving uh, on. Yeah, moving yeah, on. So there you go. You know who we are. Excellent stuff. Oh, my. Okay. And then the only thing before we start is unfortunately the plaques that were going to be ah, yes. presented. Uh, funny story here. Um, <laughs> the, the, the engraver has come down with the dreaded COVID. So mm. we have the lovely um, limited edition photo printed paper. <laughs> um, and then the winners will get a, a proper yes. award. When they're ready. Uh, we did speak to Kev, but he was unavailable, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yes, yeah, so people will get this as a sort of stunt stand in, and then they'll get the final thing once they're back next week. Absolutely. Um, right. So, we have ourselves a whole range of um, uh, nominations and um, categories. A couple of new additions into the, we uh, the roster we as well. We do. We certainly those. want to mix things up. And this is certainly one of the new additions uh, to the list. Um, we're going to talk about our sponsors in a bit, uh, but uh, this is uh, the best comics-related website and publications sponsored by Modern um, Fanatic, which is a yeah. which is a which is an agency that, that Tripwire deals with deal with um, a lot of great sort of uh, genre companies. So they're an advertising agency headed up by Chris Longo, who used to work for DC, and he works with uh, Colin Millington. They're a great company, so they represent heavy metal. We work with them. They're they're you know they're very you know they're based in LA. Collins based in New York, so they're a very international company, but they're a great company. Excellent stuff. So, um, our nominations for best comics related website publications are newsrama.com, Comics Beat. Yeah, by the way, Tripwire. And no, no, my, we exclude ourselves <laughs> because uh, we, uh, we, we felt it was a little bit questionable. Did, uh, probably not the best idea. No, the probably. Comics Journal uh, has been nominated. Yes. Comic Book resources. resources. And, and down, down the tubes. tubes. Okay. And the winner is? And the winner is? Uh, yeah, shall we uh, do our round of drum roll? And there's a drum roll. And the winner is? Ta-da! Ta -da. Ta -da. Ta -da. Down the tubes! Hey, 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 hey. Down the tubes! So, down the tubes, yes, so run by John Freeman. For many years, for 25 years, I believe. Unfortunately, John is unable to be here, but he has sent a... He has yes. video, perhaps yeah. with his cat. I'm not sure. We'll soon find out. His cat is in there. See how loud it is as well. Oh, oh hello. Oh, no. And no sound. And no sound. <laughs> oh, what a shame! Oh, what a shame! We can. It's just. Ah, yeah. oh, there's a new button. No, hang on. You're the tech director. Aren't you? I am. Yes. yes. The good news is I can take it back again. Oh, look, you look so far. I, I am absolutely delighted and, and overwhelmed, overwhelmed that you have voted, voted down, down to choose the best comic writer website. Thank you, Thank very, you much very much for all your votes. votes. Thank, you Thank you so much for your support. support. It means so a heck of a lot, especially after, after the uh, 16 months, 18 months we've all been through to know that what we've been doing is a little bit of joy amongst some of the other things that have been going on. Thank you. 
to Joe, Joe or for a nomination, for a nomination. Uh, uh, do if I do I am I am and hopefully although I can't meet you in person tonight I may catch up with a lot of comments creators at the next session of the comic after the end of October where I'm hoping to also catch up with Joe too so, so see you, see you we'll see soon, soon, soon and, and uh, have a great, have a great evening. evening. Joel Freeman, everyone. Excellent stuff, indeed. Right, um, I've chosen the order. I kind of did it by random uh, selection, uh, but uh, let's see uh, if uh, Joel will agree with me on the order in which I've gone with these, because I've gone with a, a pretty <laughs> big uh, um, uh, category up next. Best original graphic model. Okay. Our nominations for this prestigious category are okay, The Black Panther Party, a graphic novel history. David F. Walker, Marcus Kwame Anderson, uh, published by Penguin Random House. Reckless, Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips, published by Image Comics. Infinitum, written, by, uh, written in art by Tim Fielder, published by HarperCollins. Monsters, Barry Windsor Smith, uh, published by Fantagraphics, Jonathan Cape. And Blue in Green by Ram V and Anand RK, uh, Image Comics. And before we mention the oh. winner, we have to talk about the sponsor. Uh, is there a sponsor for this yes, one? Yes, there is. Aftershock. Ah, right. Okay. Um, is, that uh, was not on my notes. So, uh, no, please, by all means, talk about a company set up by uh, Mike Martz, who's a former DC and Marvel and Valiant editor. Yeah. Um, who've gone from sort of strength to strength in about five years, around for five years, and they're producing this very interesting product, and they've now precisely moved into TV and film. So that they're, they're a great company, they publish really interesting books. So I recommend checking them out, but just wanted to mention uh, Aftershock. Sure. sure. And our winner oh, for winner. this particular oh, nomination here, is. best original graphic novel, is yeah. Monsters yeah. by Barry Windsor yeah. Smith. Yeah. And, and yes, he's there, he's coming through the door. Yes, there he is. No, I'm afraid that Barry Wilson Smith couldn't be here because he will never come here. Because I believe, <laughs> I think he has gerbil is ill, and I think he has to attend to it. No, I think he's uh, he's unable to be here. But we haven't got a video or an acceptance. No. But I know he did, he did, we are so was, far beneath his. If, if he was, if he was here, which is very unlikely, but if he was here. He would be very grateful to everyone who voted. And, uh, he would, he would thank them. Very, very presumptuous. Well, well, perhaps. <laughs> well, he might just spit on all of you, but uh, you know, perhaps not. Hard to anyway, um, But anyway, it's a great book. And, it certainly and is. It's Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Sponsored by Modern Fanatic. Uh, again, this is Best Collection. Now, this was um, a category that was put forward to by, by Joel. Um, it's a slightly, it was given a very broad remit, yes. to be fair. Yes. Um, all of the judges, I think, took um, yes. a different approach yes. to yes. what uh, best collection meant. Either it was the, the way it was packaged, the uh, additional bonus material, which really rounded out what was uh, put forward. A lot of us took uh, that in different uh, yes, ways. Agreed. But um, so these were the uh, nominations that were... We have a very strong lineup this year. We did. Indeed, a number of these, uh, the, <laughs> the margin for error was incredible. Jeff Lemaire, Dean Olmson, and M.I. Lennox and Dave Stewart, published by Dark Horse, Dark Horse Comics. Black Hammer, library, uh, library edition volume two. Conan, Serpent War, Jim Sub, Vanessa Del Rey, Scott Eaton, Stephen Segovia, uh, published by Marvel Comics. The Trigon Empire, volume two. <laughs> I'm not showing any preference at all. Uh, Mike Butterworth, John Lawrence, uh, Ron Embleton, uh, published by Rebe Rebellion Press. Out of Darkness, Chew, uh, John Lehman, Afu Chan, Rob Gilroy, um, uh, published by Image Comics. And Empire, uh, Al Ewing, Gal Dan Slott, Valerio Shitty, uh, Marche Gracia, Joe Peramanga, uh, published by Marvel Comics. Um, if anything, as probably the uh, the most uh, it's available so mainstream of the, 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 the collections, but the just the collection. collection. It's a very, a very ambitious series, indeed. Okay. And the winner is... of best collection <laughs> is Black Hammer, <laughs> Library Edition Volume Two. And unfortunately, Jeff Demiro can't be with us, but he has kind. I do, I do like how there's one or two of them actually looking to the back of the room. There he is. He's coming in through the door. Uh, um, so unfortunately, can't make it, but. You know, Jeff is an incredibly talented creator. 
He's a great writer, a great artist, and he kindly sent us an acceptance video, which we're happy to share with you now. Hey, Peter, Peter why your awards is just happening on your own. Thank you so much for your awards this year. I'm surprised and real honored to receive. Fingers crossed. Jeff Lemire. A huge talent. He is a huge oh, talent. Incredible. Right, I did put these uh, back to back. Uh, best small press independent. Uh, we'll start with the Americans. Yes. Sponsored by Knockabout Comics. We'll do... Uh, oh, no, US we'll is, do... is Modern Fanatic. And modern... No. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, anyway. You didn't send me any correct notes at all, did you? Uh, I just thought I'd see if I could wrong. No, that's right. No, it's by all means. Keep going to toes. You, you have done. Congratulations. Uh, uh, well, you know. In that case, not sponsored by Knock, Knockabout Comics, no. who did not support this at all. It was shocking. Really. They, 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 <laughs> they, could, they couldn't stand small press independent publications. US. Only US. Oh, only the US. Only US. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, our categories are Best Small Press Independent, Valiant Comics, Dynamite Editions, Bolt Comics, Magnetic Press, Black Mask Studios. And our winner is. for this year's Trip Wire Awards 21 Best Small Press Independent US is. Vault yes. Comics. Much so. it, very much so. Um, I, as I was going to say in my intro, I mean, I think something that could come out of the last uh, 18 months is I, I want to retire the term <laughs> big two. It doesn't seem irrelevant. I mean, we've got people agreeing. It's, yes. it's uh, totally irrelevant. Uh, especially when you have independent publishers that are of not only quality. of this quality and serving um, yes. and selling so incredibly yes. well. If anything, also and because I know it's five years as well. Indeed, for five indeed. Years. I know it says best small press independent US. It could easily be a UK publisher. This because the amount of UK talent that uh, Vault have got on there. Yes, it's just impressive. Uh, so we do actually. They yeah. couldn't be here, but we have Damien and Adrian. Sending us a very kind, was it just one of them? Uh, the, the Wessel brothers. Oh, no. Um, so is it Damien or Adrian? I think we have to come back to that one. We'll, come we'll, back we'll, play, we'll, we'll play it then. We'll, we'll play it then. Okay. No, that's okay. So, yes, um, best small press. Just to explain the, the videos, by the way, considering that Grant Morrison sent his 15 minutes he before did. we actually seven. got started, yes. so that was, uh, we have received about six of these videos within the last two, two hours. hours. Yes, we have. So, All right. so. Not saying that uh, comics are uh, a little disorganised, but you know the. I was going like to say something. Like I was going to say something about lax about um, deadlines, but um, well, a little bit of both. Really. You want to say disor You want to say disorganised? Yeah, organised chaos, Joe. Huh? Organised chaos. Yeah. Best small press independent. Okay, sponsored UK, by um, Knockabout, Knockabout Comics. comics. Who are Oh no! Here we go. This is, uh, <laughs> oh, that's, that, that's the. Uh, that's, Shall that's we play now? Shall we'll we play now? So we we'll just rewind. This is the Vault Comics. Hello, so. Tripwire and Tripwire Readers. Readers. This this is is Niagara 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 here. here. Just wanted, wanted to take a moment and offer my sincere thanks for giving, for giving us the best, best US, US, US independent publisher, publisher award. award. We are, we are extremely, extremely grateful and humbled that you would give us this award. I also, I also want to take a moment to thank, in particular, each and every one of the incredible creators that work with us. Because if, if it wasn't, wasn't for them, them, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be here. This is, this is as, as much their award as it is ours. Thank you, Thank you again very, all very, very, very much. And we'll talk to you soon. Be well, be well everybody. Absolutely. And that was the second win as well. For you. So that's uh, David Disanyaki, who's the marketing the... director of all. Absolutely. Okay. Back to best more best more press independent. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And Knockabout Comics is a um, UK independent publishing company. I'm going to do a little thing on the. Oh, okay. uh, well, I will, let, I will let you. Uh, <laughs> I will let you get it. <laughs> BHP Publishing, Time Bomb Comics, no. Self Made Hero, Soaring Penguin Press, and you've got to give me due credit for actually spelling it right for us. Souring. So I know I, I use think it. Souring is better. Do not ask me why I, I always I type souring. I don't know what it is. Soaring Penguin Press and Titan oh, Comics, and the winner for Best Small though. Press Independent UK yeah. is Titan, Titan Comics. Comics. And we do have 
Oh my word! We have somebody here first. Come and join us, sir. We'd like to welcome Nick Lander. I met Sir David Lee. Thank you very much. And this is where you now make a speech for the next three minutes. Go for it. Oh, thank you very much. I want to thank Joel and the readers of Tripwire for providing this. I'd like to accept this on behalf of myself and the other editorial team members and all the creators who work on all my comics. It's very nice to get something. Thank you very much. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Your, your shiny bauble is on its way. Yeah, real thing is coming next Absolutely. week. Absolutely. That was it. That was it. Yeah. Exactly. Right, best digital comics. Right. This is a new edition uh, which Joel put in for our nominations. Not only is it representing um, the the best of digital comics, uh, a new format which is um, moving forward. Yes. But also just the fact that in the last uh, year and a half, it's something that's flourished as a, an avenue for of, uh, creators you know, to get and out. And because of lockdown, obviously, it's made it a Absolutely. lot easier. Absolutely. So it's a great new way for people to get their work out there. Absolutely. Sponsored by uh, Modern Fanatic. Best digital comics are nominations. Quarantine Comics. <laughs> The Red Hook Blackout. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, show yeah, yeah, yeah. some, 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 some representation. Yes, Hotelfred.com. King's Ransom. Yeah, Louise Simonson and yeah. began to do another great uh, digital strip. Yeah. And Batman and Legends of the Dark. By Man. those people various. They get around, don't they? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> And the winner for Best Digital Comics yes. is... Round of applause, please, for Quarantine yeah. Comics! And we have I'm Rachel sure Smith in sorry. the room. Can you step forward, yeah, Rachel, please? please. Yeah. Well, it changed on the day. It did, actually. So Rachel, so there you go. Speech and um, I will one. say, um, out of... A number of the categories, there were very slim margins for very the very close. Very, very close. Then I embarrassed myself with one of the other. I was going to say, for Rachel, <laughs> yeah. However, for Rachel, it's got to be said, you did win by quite some margin because it's really been a high a highlight of the the lockdown. So, Rachel, please. Um, I was so sure it was going to be Roger that I was <laughs> really? not prepared anything. <laughs> um, but. Thank you very much. Thank you to and um, <laughs> to um, everyone who voted. Um, yeah, I get told a lot that quarantine comics helped a lot of people through the lockdown, mm -hmm. and that's just very humbling and amazing to hear that my little scribbles did um, something that amazing for people. Um, uh, I, it has been made clear that this was to be um, digital um, version of the comics, but. You can get the book. <laughs> <laughs> she beat me to it. Yes. She beat me to it. Because I, I, if anything, the, the, the fact that it was a digital comic, it did come out daily to the best of your ability. And it was that kind of like little gift that showed up in people's timelines and it kept us going. And absolutely, Rachel, well Congratulations. deserved. Congratulations. Yeah. Excellent stuff indeed. Okay, our next category then is best crowdfunding campaign. Now this was an odd one. To come yeah, this was brand new. Because and again, this was one that um, because the you judges. In the last eighteen months, you know, crowdfunding's become incredibly important in comics, and it has changed yeah. sure. the yeah. whole industry. I think the thing um, we again, all the judges, and I, I spoke to the judges. We all were kind of like talking about our approaches to the, the categories yes. and what we were going to take out of it. Um, it wasn't just the one that sold the most, no, one, the one that raised the most no. money, it was the one that they, we felt gave the most back to those that supported it. I'm really connected with this back. Absolutely, well. absolutely. So best crowdfunding campaign, the nominations are Scott Snyder and Tony Daniel, best Jackie Bread for Nocterra. Berserker. Um, the uh, the monolith of the whole thing, uh, mm -hmm. Keanu Reeves, Matt Kind, and uh, Ron Garney. Blacking out, Chip Mosier and Peter Kraus. Palomino by Steve Stephen Frank. And Pop Kill by Jimmy Palmiotti, Dave Johnson, 
Juan Santa Cruz, Brian Riva, Amanda Connor, published by or put together by Paper Films. As you can, this was a, this was, this was very a tough close. competition. This, this was, was this was extremely close. But as it happens, yes, oh, yes, okay. it was, yes, it was, it was Berserker. Yes. Not and, only, yes. I'm certain uh, on top of the what six point two million that they, they raised, raised a hell of a lot. Um, this fantastic piece of paper that yes. uh, Joel is uh, <laughs> yes. is going to go nicely on top of that uh, bed of cash that they're currently also and, and Keanu Reeves is with us no actually he's not with us. there we yeah, go yes. Yes. Um, so, so. Um, so we haven't got a video but yeah. we would like to congratulate <laughs> them uh, because they couldn't be asked no uh, we, uh, we'd like to congratulate them for winning because it's absolutely. a deserved success absolutely berserker everybody Indeed. congratulations <laughs> Best new talent. Okay, um, this is sponsored by me. Um, so tell them about the convention collective. Uh, convention collective is something I'll talk about when we do the sponsors uh, bit in a bit. Oh, okay. uh, but um, <laughs> I keep reminding you, Joel. Should I just kick you, kick you in? Um, but um, I wanted to sponsor this one uh, because certainly out of the things that we're doing on my website, in uh, certainly when you see people at conventions, it's certainly the new talent. The ones that are getting behind the table for their first time and putting their talent out there and really kind of uh, stepping out Especially onto that wire. Especially at the moment when it's so out difficult when there's no Absolutely. shows. You know, these people are still proving that they can do amazing work when they don't have the showcase they used to have Absolutely. at the moment. So the, the, I really wanted to support this particular category because um, it really is some incredible new talent coming through. And the, the best we can all support uh, new talent the better. Yes. So new talent, our categories, uh, sorry, our nominees are Sarah G Begum. Um, just incredible work that she's been putting out. Local last for me, please. Jamal Campbell. Yeah, round of applause, please, by all means, show uh, support for these. Stephanie Phillips, yep. uh, an incredible writer uh, for many different styles and genres. Jeff McComsey. Oh, okay. this show didn't move. I don't, I don't remember his work. I don't remember that no, one either. I don't remember, I don't remember that one either. I'll have to come back to that. Yes. Okay, and the winner yes. for Best New Talents yes. is Stephanie Phillips. Yes. Um, unfortunately, Stephanie... Yes, Stephanie unfortunately uh, hasn't um, sent a, no, no, she didn't send a video to you, but she did actually send a, a message to myself. Oh, she did, did yes, yeah, oh, uh, because uh, I, I'm actually stunned at how many of the nominees for this year I actually got to interview as part of my uh, podcast this year. I'm, I'm actually staggered at how lucky I've been with the people I've Brilliant. been able to speak to, and I did get to speak to Excellent. Stephanie, especially when she was releasing um, the book Tana for on uh, for heavy metal. Uh, for heavy metal. Yes. Um, the work that she's doing is just leaps and bounds. It's if you've not read her stuff before, do go check it out because it's just incredibly solid. And I see her being uh, a, a name in lights uh, in years to come. Stephanie Phillips, do go check out her work. Absolutely incredible stuff. <laughs> Stephanie Phillips, best new talent. Are you checking your inbox? No, just I'm, checking, to see if you no I'm checking. Are you feeling Eric, left out? I'm trying to find Eric Stevenson's speech. Uh, oh, it's, okay. Right, next no, uh, nomination is Best Editor. Do apologize to you, come through. So Best Editor, um, this one's tough because at the end of the day, it's the master of the dark arts. Uh, they're the ones that uh, a lot of people, uh, including myself, don't know the intricacies of what they do. But at the end of the day, they are the ones that herd the cats and get stuff to the table and get the actual thing out there. So our nominations for Best Tripwire Awards, ignore that. Best editor, <laughs> best editor, Karen Berger. Oh, you can tell this was kind of put together. Okay. Brady Webb. Oh. Hey. Rachel Fulton. Ben Abernathy. And Tom Payer. Okay. And the winner. Round of applause, please. Best editor is Karen Berger, right. second year on the truck. We have a piece of paper for her. We Karen, do. unfortunately, cannot be here but this she evening. Kind to give us a video. But she has sent us a video. Oh, wow. Yes. 
Hi, Hi everybody. everybody. Thanks, Thanks so, so much, much for this wonderful award. award. I'd like, like to thank the Big Brother Brothers for coming in. I'd like, like to thank everyone who's in the Big Brother Brothers. I'd like to thank everyone who participated. Oh, hang on. The Big Brother Brothers. I'd like to recognize Big Comics. Second year running, I mean, it says uh, volumes about her talent. Um, uh, she's been a, a, a talent in the, uh, the, the industry decades. for decades, and she continues to uh, put out incredible books. Yes. Okay. So this is where we talk about our sponsors. Um, this is where um, I was going to uh, suggest that if anybody in our audience wants to go for a toilet for a couple of minutes, they are more than welcome to do so. But uh, for the live stream, at least we can explain who our sponsors are. First up, Knockabout Comics, uh, publishing hundreds of titles since its inception in 1975. Uh, creators proud to publish include Alan Moore, Gilbert Sheldon, uh, Robert Crumb, Melinda Gibb, uh, Eddie Campbell, Hunt Emerson, Martin Robinson, and more. Um, you are more familiar with uh, Knockabout and their uh, the team. Would you like to uh, say anything about them? Well, it's just that they've been around, as you say, for well, it must be coming up for nearly 50 years, which is, right. which is pretty amazing. You know, they publish things like From Hell. Uh, by Alan Moore and Eddie Campbell. Um, they've been a presence in UK comic shows for decades, and they're, they're still publishing, you know, really interesting work. So, you know, the longevity is, is amazing. Absolutely. Next up, Modern Fanatic. We've mentioned them several we times, have, and they have sponsored so many categories. They have four or five, but they're um, a great company. It's almost, they deal with uh, you know, an ad agency and a media agency based in LA and New York who we do some really great work. Absolutely. Even if they are going to have the tagline, turning fandom into brandom. Um, something which I had a, had a nervous tick the second I read it, frankly. But it's a, it's a Brandon. It's you know, a, a Brandon, yeah. Brandon, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. well, you know, he's, a, he's on the rise. Is that what it is? Yeah, right. um, oh, yeah. dear me. Ace Comics. We have, we have the man. Oh, ah, we have the, the man from Ace Comics here himself. Yeah. Um, well, Ace Comics is a, as you say, it's a retailer has been around for many decades. It's one of the finest comic shops in the, in the country with an amazing mail order service. And, and Biff, is, Biff runs an amazing shop, you know, it's very professional, you know, just, just offers a fantastic service for his customers and he always has done. And you know, it's very friendly and very welcoming and it's a great shop. Excellent. You've got shops, 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 shops. And we also run both in Colchester. Yes, indeed. Another great it's, event. It's the biggest comic show that's free in the UK. Makes some stuff. Yeah, I heard the woo there as well. Yeah. <laughs> I heard a woo. Makes some stuff. Indeed. Okay, we have ourselves Image Comics, who is a supporter, a proud supporter indeed. of the, uh, um, uh, the, the show. Um, 
Founded in 1992, if anyone uh, is unaware of uh, Image Comics' work, I'll be stunned. Uh, but uh, it's the fact that they have continued to evolve they have. Uh, the they work that they've put. They started sort of superhero house Absolutely. and they moved into all kinds of, you know, the, you couldn't even name a single genre. They are incredibly versatile. Absolutely. And as you said, they have evolved. Absolutely. And... Um, and yes. next year is their 30th anniversary. And thankfully, the, the, the pockets and the, uh, the lack of feet. And, and the, the slim waist. The slim waist. They, and, and they've, the gone, they've, they've, the, they've uh, evolved on. They've yeah. evolved on. So there we go. Uh, who else we got? Um, oh, um, the Convention Collective. Some guy, some guy from the North, me. You know, uh, Just check out the conventioncollective.com. If anything, because um, there's certainly elements in there. We're doing reviews and we're doing things outside of conventions the website did come to a crashing halt the moment convention stops as you can imagine We've adapted, uh, we, well, have adapted. we have adapted um the my editor in uh, my senior editor who's based out in uh, san diego um dan berry has certainly done something very impressive with something called the uh, the spotlight uh, and what we're doing every Monday is actually, again, showcasing I mean, talent. We've some amazing people. We have, and uh, it's turning into a nice little virtual artist Common, alley. Yes. Uh, well worth checking out. Just search for uh, the uh, you know, Sandbox Spotlight on conventioncollective.com. Thank you. <laughs> okay, back to our awards then. And we have Best Publisher. Yeah, we, we, we're getting some big ones. Yeah, uh, we're getting into the big ones. Yeah. Sponsored by Modern Fanatic again. And our nominations are Image, Image Comics. <laughs> they have not bought and paid for this no, award. They, no, they have. Have. Humanoids. Humanoids. Left field. Left field. <laughs> DC Comics did get votes. They um, did. If anything, uh, they did. no, I, I, I say, I, I say, you say that. In such okay, a way I said, that. I said that out loud. Yeah. And that's recorded as well. I think, I think, I think it's. What do you want to what do you say? Let me qual qual let me qualify. Yes, Certainly, with the 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 the, ju the, uh, the judges, we just felt that um that DC it does has interesting things. And they've uh, got through a difficult patch the last year. <laughs> shall we say? Do you want me to just stick a hand up there and there? No, 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 uh, yeah, so I'm going to need a couple more of these. Uh, I think but what, what they what they have done um, uh, to come uh, in the recent years um, into uh, the new era of DC Comics is just uh, very impressive. And Dark Horse Comics, amazing company, an amazing company. And Aftershock Shock. Comics, another new company. They've been around for five years, but they're doing some amazing work. Intrigued. And the winner is. for Best Publisher, Trivia Awards 2021, is Image Comics. Such a shock. Such a shock. Um, I mean, I, Tom McFarlane isn't here, but... Uh, now, I do no, believe we, we have, have... a statement from yeah. Eric Stevenson from the publisher. The so if you can imagine there, this um, said in a suave Eric Stevenson manner. <laughs> Many thanks for your support. Try again. <laughs> Many thanks for your support. Try again. Okay. Many thanks for your support <laughs> <laughs> and the support of comics and the creators we work for and with. This award means a lot to us, particularly after last year or the last five years, depending on how you count 2020. <laughs> and we can't tell you how excited we are to share even more exciting new creator-owned comics with you as we approach our 30th anniversary. Thanks again, everyone. Eric. Eric Stevenson from Image Comics, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, best cover artist. We've got some incredibly some strong. Incre people. Yeah, this was one that was incredibly close uh, when it came to the voting. First up, Jen Bartel. Yes. Phenomenal stuff. Joel Jones. Yes. Olivia Copiel. Have I pronounced that right? Probably not. Copiel. Stanley Archer Blau. Archer. And Art Adams, the legend yeah. himself. And the winner of the Trick World Wars 2021 Best Cover Artist is. Joel Jones. The second, no. She won for something else for last year. She did. She won for a different category from yeah. last year, but unfortunately, Joel can't make it and she wasn't able to put a video together, but. They're very busy, these they cover artists. Their work's yeah. like a dog. But we're, we're sure she's very grateful. Um, <laughs> I do love how you put words into people's mouths. 
But uh, I think she would be. No, I think she would be. She was. She was. I, I, say, I think she would be. No, I think she, would, I think be. she would be. Okay. So next category. Is... Next category is best colorist. Um, this is um, a category I'm particularly close to my heart, along with lettering. I believe that they all of the elements uh, that make comics up provide the tone. And if it's done and well, it's if not it's done well, absolutely, and if it's done badly, absolutely, absolutely. And all of these are just um, phenomenal talent. Our nominees for best uh, colorist: Mate Garcia, <laughs> Jordi Belair, <laughs> Matt Hollingsworth. Mike Spicer and Dave Stewart. Any guesses? No, I'm not going to do that. No, no I'm not going to. <laughs> that's just a hiding to nothing, is that? Best colorist, Trigger Eye Wars 2021 goes to Jordi Belair. Thoroughly deserved. Incredible talent, and unfortunately, uh, not here. Yes. No. Yes, this is where we. This is where we catch. Yeah, we start catch up some time on this. But she is very great. Absolutely, probably. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> I do like how you're backtracking on all that. Right. Okay. She's very great because she's so lovely. No, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure she is. I'm yeah. sure she is. Again, best letter. Uh, it's, yes. it's down to just the uh, the, the tone. It, again, uh, it's again. If it's if it's done well, you don't notice it. Absolutely. And the nominees for best letter 2021 are Clayton Cowles. <laughs> Hassan Osman Halal. I butchered that. Wow, well, well, you almost got it. You nearly got there. Todd Klein. <laughs> Tom Oshalski. <laughs> and Ed Dukeshire. Now, can we read, can we read mm, the thing? Yes, I think we'll we read, the, read the, thing. the thing. We Because uh, this will be. This is an unusual award. We've never it had was. This before. We had somebody who won. Yes, by, and by then a turned big it margin. down. They, they <gasps> felt like someone oh else. my god! I know it's shocking, isn't it? However, he was very they, gracious. He was very gracious. He turned it down for a reason. If you would like to I'd read, like to read. This yeah, is, now this, this is from Todd, Todd Klein. Klein, who was the original winner. He says, "Hi Joel, thanks for the honor. I appreciated it. I've won lots of awards already, though, and I think I'd prefer you to give it to someone else. There are so many deserving candidates, which is one of the most gracious things I've ever heard." I think so. It was very kind of him. Yeah. So he deserves a round Absolutely. of applause. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 So basically, he knows how bloody good he is. And he, he doesn't just, need it. He doesn't yeah. need it. No. Fair enough. Fair enough. So, so okay, he, which means, means that the winner we is have another winner. winner. To be fair, it was pretty damn close. And he's quite talented. Hassan Osman so Halal. Yeah. An Eisner Award winner for multiple uh, Eisner Awards. Eisner Award. Eisner Award. Indeed, absolutely. Uh, but this is obviously for his lettering, Indeed. and uh, we do you have. Have you ever got a video? Do you have a video for, from him? A video. All right, well, I'm sorry to do the honor to have the round one as a friend of long time, Carl Clayton, and Ed, obviously. Um, um, I thought we were going to be interested in the playbooks. I just wanted to check out your lucky letter and check out all the work of some amazing people who have got it as well as been nominated. You look out of the bar and. Absolutely. Did Hassan just turn around that he doesn't have anything interesting to say? Yes. Has anyone seen his video channel? The man always has something interesting to say. That's an incredible misnomer. But there we go. Okay, we move on then to our uh, next category, which is Best Writer. Okay, we are getting into the big one. Holy contested. Category. This one was incredibly close. We're into um, single digits on this it was, one. It was very This close. was very close. Our nominees for Best Writer are Ram V. <laughs> Can you name the books that he's done? It's uh, unbelievable. It's just incredible. Um, yeah. Al Ewing. Kelly Thompson. <laughs> David F. Walker. And James Tyne in the fourth. Um, and our winner of 
best writer for the Chip Rye Awards 2021 is Al Ewing. It bounced backwards and forwards between at least three of them, three, all, all the way the last through. Few days. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But Al deserving with it, one, absolutely. Yes. If you haven't checked out the uh, the Swamp Thing yet, uh, do so because that is it's uh, a dense book, but it's I'm again it's, it's taking it back to gothic horror, and it really is something very very special. As it happens, he has sent us a, a message video, very kindly. So Al Ewing, take it away. Hello. Hello. Uh, my name is Al. Yeah, uh, uh, virtually to, uh, uh, to, uh, to uh, video, video of this. I can't actually uh, 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 um, uh, 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 very far from the school, school. Um, um, and, and without, without a lot of help, uh, uh, I will be in the business of this work. So, so uh, thank, you thank you all. Thanks, to thanks everybody. everybody. And, and uh, congratulations, uh, congratulations to all the other winners. winners. And I hope everybody, uh, everybody has a great night. Uh, so How are you? Fantastic stuff. Okay, our next uh, category is you are. Funding through these really quickly, aren't you? Yes. Get some stuff. Okay. Best artist. Sponsored by Time Bomb Comics. Now, this was, I suspect, the slide that didn't play. Um, if you'd like to talk about Time Bomb, because um, uh, they are, again, putting out some incredible stuff. Well, we have somebody here who ah. worked for Time Bomb, Dave Morris. I'm not going to get up because he'll be embarrassed. So, uh, you can just tell by I, I, I love the fact yeah, that he yeah, instantly okay. went, Oh, recoil. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 So, uh, so we've done that now. Okay. Um, so Time Bomb is a... Keep <laughs> drinking, keep yeah. drinking, mate. Yeah. Drinking. It's a British independent uh, comic publisher who's done some great books, Brawler, uh, Flintlock, run by Steve Tanner with a load of very talented artists and, and Dave Morris, um, and a lot of great people, a lot of really... Uh, uh, for, for, for myself, so you're, you're, yeah, they keep sh they do keep showing up at comic incredible. conventions and really kind of putting. And their they've really books got to grips with Absolutely. a Kickstarter model as well yeah. for their books. So they're an incredible company. So Absolutely. worth checking out. Yeah. So sponsoring uh, Tripwire Awards 2021 Best Artist, and our nominations are Martin Simmons, <laughs> Department of Trade, yeah, yeah, could be for the Department of Trade, Liam Sharp. Stephanie Hans. Tommy Lee Edwards. And Isad Rivik. My best friend. He shouted at me once. Uh, but uh, then running towards you. Uh, <laughs> no, away from you. No. Well, this is what happens when he's doing a piece of work at a convention and I have the audacity to speak to him. And he shouted at me. But you know what? I, I, I take that with full humility because I deserved it so there we go but no if anything I, I as he was shouting at me I was just going yeah but that looks fucking awesome <laughs> brilliant so our winner for best artist for 2021 is round of applause to Liam Sharp a man who is having one of time absolutely um yeah he what he did with Green Lantern was incredible, but um, if you check out what he's doing on his, um, on his social media, so his creator well, series, his incredible. Is amazing. We do have a video from we Liam. So, here's, so Liam, here's the man himself. take it away. I just uh, wanted to say huge thanks, thanks to uh, Joel, Joel and, and, and Trip Wire and, and all the fans who voted for me. The, the best, best artist is amazing. amazing. Um, um, really, 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 really wish I could be there. Um, um, Congratulations, brother. Excellent stuff indeed. True Awards 2021 then, best new series. And I believe this might actually be 
Is this our last one? No. Oh no, we've got the uh, two special we've got, we've categories at the end. And Absolutely. Three, Absolutely. First of the year and Roll of Honor. Ah yes. So this is sponsored by Dark Horse Comics. Best new series. And the nominations are the other history of the DC universe. Uh, if you've not checked it out, do. It's uh, an incredible book. The Swamp Thing. The Department of Truth. Second Coming. And it's always fun to say, Space Bastards. <laughs> Let's get the swears in. Yay. Best new series then, um, five incredible titles. Yes. Again, this was incredibly, very close. Very very close. close. Absolutely. However, the winner for best new title is yes. the Department of Truth. <laughs> what James and Martin are doing on this. That's I mean, phenomenal. when, when uh, people are talking about uh, uh, Martin's work in the same breath as uh, Bill Sienkiewicz, <laughs> yeah, it's, it just stands incredible uh, alone on the stands. And it's, yeah. I'm not saying what I voted for, but it was an incredible, well-deserved winner of that particular yes. uh, category. Excellent stuff. So unfortunately, James and Martin can't be here, but James kindly sends us um, Zepson's video. Yeah. Hey there. Hey there. Uh, I just got the wonderful news uh, that the Department of Truth has won the best new series, series at the Tripwire Awards. And I just, and I just want to thank, thank you all, all so much, so much uh, for supporting the book. Uh, the Department of Truth is a real passion project for me and the Mark, uh, and really we had no idea uh, that it was going to find the audience it is, and that that audience will still be so excited and energized about the series uh, a year after its debut. Uh, so I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much. We have so much more to come, and uh, yeah, keep reading, and uh, thank you to everyone at the Tripwire Awards. Thanks. Thanks. The only man I know who could write a, um, a couple of issues about Bigfoot and make it compelling. It really, <laughs> how the hell he pulled that off, I have no idea. Okay. I'm going to go back there because I want to uh, see these things because I keep skipping past them. Um, person of the year. Now, I'm going to let Joel explain this one because this was a new addition to the, uh, the nomination roster. Why did you feel that we needed a person of the year for this year's awards? Well, I just thought that we should look at the people who've made an impact on the comics industry, either at the head of a company or in their own way. So we just thought it'd be interesting to have something to reflect that. So we picked five very, very different nominations. Um, they've all done something. Some people have been around for a long time. Other people, you know, one of the nominees has sort of, if you like, kind of turned around the company that they've run. The other ones, you know, been there a long time and they've sort of, you know, built on what they've done. So I just thought it would be interesting to, to ask people what they thought and just to reflect the industry over the last year. Okay. So sponsored by Modern Fanatic, but it's definitely a, uh, a passion uh, uh, nomination yes. for, for Joel. Person of the Year. And our nominees are... Marie Javins. Marie Javins. The editor in chief of DC. Kevin Smith. Which is always interesting, came from left field. I like how nobody clapped. Really? Okay. Ross Ritchie. Eric Stevenson. And John Freeman. Yes. Woo indeed. And the winner. Of Person of the Year for the Tree Wild Wars 2021 is Marie Jarrins. Um, unfortunately, um, <laughs> we were waiting for a video, but unfortunately, it's not been forthcoming. But I know that she's she's very grateful of the, the win, and you know everyone at DC is uh, is very grateful as well as, as you yeah. can imagine. We're, we're, we're feeling we're feeling we feel the grateful. We're yeah. feeling the grateful. We're feeling the Yeah, we're feeling the love. Yeah. is what it is. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, so congratulations. To absolutely, Marie. absolutely. So we have one more award to announce, which has got two uh, indeed winners. the role of honor. Now it's got two L's by the way. No, yeah, but whatever. Role of honor. It's all right. It's fine. It's not like you work in print or words or anything. Excuse me. It's the role. 
It's like, a, it's oh. like an imaginary. I thought piece it was the roll. No, no. I thought that's why we were doing this. Like roll a cheese roll. roll. Yeah. No, 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 the no, roll no, no. Okay, fair enough. Um, we had a bunch of names uh, that were put forward. Yes. Um, uh, Which one is the longer with us? I sadly, think you may notice perhaps. Al um, uh, a commonality, perhaps. Uh, Richard Corbyn. Um, yes, the type of yes, I think Ra I think Rachel yeah. spotted yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. There's another yeah. one. Yeah, no, that's yeah. Good. And there's another one. Yes, yeah. yes. No, no, I like that. That's good mm. consistency. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. See if we can break that up again next year. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, but so still, we have, we have I mean, two, worthy, two worthy names. They're all incredibly absolutely. Talented. So we have two people to add to the role with an L of honor. Uh, <laughs> okay. And the winners are. Grant Morrison, Morrison and Belson Kavich. How do they feel, Joel? They, well, you can show, uh, you can show them how they feel. Oh, as, they as, feel, as, they it, feel as it happens, they, they can actually tell they us. They feel grateful. No, they can tell us themselves. As, as they'll tell you themselves. Absolutely. We do have uh, we some have two uh, videos. videos. We have Grant. Um, who we Bill first. Bill first. This is in Cabbage first from his uh, out of focus home in Los Angeles. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is Bill Smith from Los Angeles. About six thirty. Uh, and I'd like to um, um, <laughs> just want to uh, say good, say good morning to you all, and to thank, thank you, you and Joel and everyone, everyone at Tripwire, everyone, everyone who voted in the Tripwire Awards, um, and, and uh, personally, I want to thank you for. Uh, for electing me to be the role of honor uh, is truly uh, wonderful. I feel like it's an amazing company. And uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm incredibly touched and honored and, uh, and thankful. I'm thankful, yes. To everyone at Tripwire, to all the front of the fans in the UK, and to everyone all over the uh, the globe that voted in the awards. Um, and thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Can you tell it was 6.30 when you recorded that? Yeah. No, he makes that like any time. Absolutely. absolutely. No, no, it's, it's a great video. Um, the, yeah. um, video for Mr. Morrison as well. Absolutely. I mean, great, I mean, absolutely. He's a phenomenal talent. I mean, if, you did, if you get the chance to spend any time with him, uh, considering that um, as part of uh, An Englishman in San Diego, uh, with the Cup of Tea podcast, uh, I did finally manage to get to well, speak to, uh, to, 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 to Bill. Oh, and I booked a generous half an hour, 40 minutes with him. He said, that's hour not a problem at all. Two, two and a half hours yeah, later, yeah, we yeah, just yeah, carried yeah, on. Yeah. The man just keeps talking and he's got plenty of stories. To... Yeah, it, it, it just flew. Um, an amazing time. Brilliant stuff. And then, and then we have Mr. Grant Morrison. Morrison. Thanks, thank you everyone who wanted to be the team to be the team to be the team to be the so when we so when we received that 15 yes, minutes yes, before yes. it was recorded 20 minutes before oh, yes exactly very perfect well, so last year had the sean connery mask indeed in garden, get to see get to see him get to see him get no he's see much deserved folks it's a huge talent grant morrison and bill sinkovich everybody and, uh, roll roll roll. and that brings us ladies and gentlemen to the end of our two hour awards for 2021 yes. A round of applause, Thank please, you. for all of our winners, for our nominees, for our sponsors, yeah. and to you guys for showing up in person. Yes, yes. And uh, thank, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Joel, thank you very much indeed for uh, hosting this. For myself, I hope that we get to see you all at conventions again yes. uh, at some point in the near future. Yes. I know I'm speaking to one or two creators, maybe not this year, maybe the... It's still maybe too soon, but uh, hopefully yes, sooner yes. rather than later we see you behind a table and we get to enjoy your incredible talent um, in uh, right behind us surrounded. Um, when I have been to conventions, I've done the uh, the uh, the jacket to try and smarten things up. Um, uh, Gone the three piece uh, this time around. I'm evolving for my uh, convention. Uh, Top hat next time, maybe. No, no, no. The white cap. The white cap. The white cap. The white cap. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you very much indeed for coming. Three Rye Awards 2021. See you next year.